Early morning rains in the capital city Accra has left hundreds of commuters stranded in various parts of town. The rain, which started a little after 6 a.m., has caused floods and jammed traffic. A number of people heading to their offices via public and private transport this morning have been stuck on their way. Joy News' Carlos Caloni was at the 37 area in Accra and has filed this report. Here at the 37 bus stop, you can see as many stranded here due to the uh, this early morning downpour. You can see uh, workers, you can also see school children who have been stuck here due to the rain. And uh, public vehicles are not coming, the trotters are not coming for hours. Many have been stranded here due to this particular downpour. My name is Albert and I mean, I'm on my way to check uh, to say to do, but then for the past 15 minutes now, I'm waiting at 67 just to figure right with the circle. It's not been a good situation though, but then here we are. It has actually played out process because I, I left the house around 6 something. I've been waiting here to pick a car to Accra. But because of the rain, I couldn't be able to move because of the rain. And I think that because of this hat here, it's actually here. But some places when I was coming, they don't actually have hats like that. This one I'm standing on. They actually stand on by the tree, but when it's raining, it's not good to stand uh, under the tree. So it's better for them to provide some hat like this one. So I've been here for about five minutes. The rain has not worried me a lot, no, because I have to get to school before it's o'clock, so I'm not that worried. And I know most of my friends won't come to me, so I'm not that worried at all. Well, the downpour has really impacted the uh, uh, journey to work because, as you can see, most of the cars, uh, they are not even full, you see. And then it makes it even difficult to find a car, first of all. Uh -huh. So the rain has made it very difficult to get to work. There's, in this particular instance, I think uh, most drainage um, systems here are not really efficient because in as much as there are guys around, you can still see that the road is still flooded. And it makes it difficult to get into work. And it's because if there were we make it to work, that would have been um, much more convenient for us as workers. Um, so, yeah, that's how I can say the rain has impacted us. And we eventually ran late for work, and I think that would be understandable by everyone. From the 37 bus stop here in Accra, my name is Carlos Caloni for Joy News. Well, it's a rainy morning. Let's uh, go back to our flat situation in Accra because the situation is not different in Dansoman and its environs through to Kaneshi. Joy News is Jacqueline Yeboa was caught in the flats around the stretch and joins us uh, live with more. Jacqueline, what exactly did you observe where you were? In the morning, the rain began um, gradually intensifying. In addition to traffic and flooding at the Dansuman Junction on the way to Kaneshi, um, some cars became stranded along the way and nobody even offered to help those cars. And cars couldn't navigate because of the potholes adding to the jam. And school children and others who use the path have also been left stuck because they have no choice except to go through the inundated areas or wait for the flood to subside. Mm. So, w which areas have been worse affected? I mean, I'm talking about on your way to work. Okay, so we have um, Dakuman and Dansuman Junction, first light. And also on your way from Kaneshi to Beko is flooded. All right, Jacqueline and Sumaya Boa uh, with that for us. We've been joined, thankfully, by the Matthew Agency, an officer from the Matthew Agency, Papatni Kletch. He joins us uh, now. Grateful for your time, Papatni. Um, how long are we to endure this rain? Okay, um, good morning to you your listener. Um, let me say that this rain, um, we are going to explain this rain uh, after 12 noon. The clouds will dissipate and then uh, we'll have some rain. I'm, 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 I'm seeing your uh, alert or warning after the rain. Uh, shouldn't this have been, uh, shouldn't you have released this earlier before the rain to warn people? No, that, that is not factual. Um, we came out with the warning at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. the 
this morning, you came out with a wet ass warning. So it is not after the rain. We give it out. <laughs> 5 a.m., most people may ha I mean, may be in bed, or uh, if you are up, you are quickly preparing for work. Couldn't you have released this uh, probably last night so that people will be warned, you know, ahead of time? Yeah, we, we, we couldn't do that. The right time was the 5 a.m. because we still tracking the storm. We observed this storm emanating from Togo. That is around 4.30. That is 4.30 a.m. this morning. And we have to make sure that the storm will hit the country before we give out the weather warning. Mm. So are we going to see more of this in the coming days? Tell us about the weather pattern. Yes, I, as um, you can remember, uh, on the 10th of March, we came out with our seasonal forecast and we indicated that um, the rain for this year uh, will be a little lower than what we experienced last year. And we've given the timeline. Uh, what is going to happen now is that presently the rain is being experienced in Aflau, Kitafan, Dohu, and this environment. And then it's straight to Adam Tema Accra. And then presently uh, we are having it in Sopong, Winnibaka, Asua, Apam Sopong, uh, that is Sakra, the Azim, and its environment. The middle portion also is experiencing the rain that is Kopurubia, Akiman, Modam, stretching down to the Bono region, the Chiman, Sunyani, and then the Bota region. Even portions of the northern portions of the country is also experiencing. The rainfall. So this is how the pattern will be like. Um, getting to the evening, we'll have some relief, and then from tomorrow, but three days after tomorrow, we may have another storm. And um, in terms of months, how long are we going to endure the rains? Yes, we, we are still uh, in the raining season. So uh, the peak of the raining season is July. So we are going to have it. Uh, till July, um, but um, let me say that there will be some dry spells, that is, periods that wouldn't have any rain, and that would be um, about seven days within the period that I have mentioned. Well, I'm grateful for your time. Papani Kledge is PRO with the Ghana Meteo Agency. He says that we should embrace, uh, we should brace ourselves for more rains coming uh, within this week and uh, going through out to um, about three months where we will set into the rainy season proper. Let's move on.